But today, where in the world is Maggie McDaniel? Where in the world is Maggie McDaniel? We found her. She is right here with us, Maggie. I want to jump into this quickly because next Monday... We are, we're doing something very special. Tell us about that for next yes, Monday. Yes, next Monday, um, one of our uh, top <clears throat> guides in the Holy Land, yeah. who lives in Bethlehem, we're going to get him on the show. We're going to talk to him, find out what's, you know, the current situation on the ground type thing from somebody who actually lived there, lives there and is being affected by all the events that are going on in the Holy Land. So, And he's been your guide for some time there. I mean, he's he a seasoned guide in oh, the Oh, very Holy much Land. so, yes. And... <laughs> Right after this happened and stuff, I was in contact with him and what's going on, and he can't work and whatnot, and he sends me a picture. He said, I'm at the seminary taking uh, more new our Old Testament classes. Mm. I mean, they know the Bible inside and out. They take classes. They're not just uh, somebody who just learned, you know, walking around trying, okay, this is what mm. you have to say for this right. site. They have the background, mm. one, from um, the cultural aspect because they live there, but they know the Bible. They know the history. And in downtime, they're constantly studying and taking more classes. So it's, uh, um, I think you know, if I had any of our people here who have had him, they said, yeah, he's one of the best. Mm. So his name is Rizik, and he's going to be joining us next uh, next Monday. And we, it's safe to say he has a heart for the Holy Land. Absolutely. He has a heart for the faith. And he has a heart for the people that live there, both Jewish people and Muslim people who are trying to make this thing work particularly those who aren't involved in the violence. Absolutely. I mean, they just want to live in peace. Yeah. You know, um, I was talking to him last week, and he said, you know, s there's some very good Catholic families who have moved since this happened. Mm. And I asked him, you know, I said, well, what, you know, are you thinking about it or what's going on? He says, I can't. Yeah. We're the last living stones. Wow. He mm. says, as much as what has been taken from us and how we just live, our freedom and everything is really taken and how they're treated— he said, I can't. Yes. Now he's Thanks be to God, there's right. people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks be yeah. to God, there are people like him because they are in the minority and it keeps shrinking. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. life is very, very difficult for them. So he, and he has a family. Yeah. It'd be better probably for his family to live somewhere else in peace and freedom and whatnot, but he's like, I can't. And you know, we don't, we read the headlines, we, we kind of uh, think we know what's going on over there, but... Uh, to be able to, I'm really looking forward to this conversation with him to really give us the actual situation and his perspective on it. Yeah, no. <clears throat> and then I, we were talking, you know, hopefully this won't be a one-time thing. He can right. keep us posted, but then just give us some insight in, on the sites and based on the events that are going on. I mean, next week starts Holy Week. Mm -hmm. And we've got to gotta pray that people like week. him stay because we do. when we go over there, we want someone who has the heart of the faith, the heart for the land, the heart for the history as they take us through, not just someone, as you said, who read a book and now can point out certain things. Right, and we do not want our sites to become museums. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest yeah. thing. Our churches cannot become museums. Amen. We need them open, and that's why pilgrimage is so, so important, because we are learning so much by going there, but we're giving them jobs when we go there. Yes, we take up the Good Friday collection and we help them out. They don't want a handout. Yeah, they want jobs, and so mm. by us going there, you 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 know the hospitality, yeah. the the hotels, the restaurants, the drivers, the guides, we're employing them, mm. which in turns employs others. Yeah, so don't miss the segment next week. We'll be with Riz. Le lift your hands up for those who are who can see it. At home on the video. Oh. Let them see your workout, St. Patrick. Oh uh, yeah. Saint oh, Patrick yeah. Day Typically we call blow. this sleep. You know, March seventeenth, sleep the eighteenth. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Maggie. God bless.